Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel and today I have another book subscription to share with you that has once again been sent to me for review. This is the July Authentic Books box or at least one of the three selections that subscribers could choose from. It is also what was chosen by our book club here on the channel. So the channel itself has a private Facebook group which is also where we run the book club headed by the amazing Priscilla. The private Facebook group is called The Nobot Nook because we call viewers of this channel Nobots for a variety of reasons. If you're interested in joining that Facebook group, I will leave a link for you in the description box below. Just remember to answer the membership questions or you'll kind of get stuck in limbo, but we would love to have you in there. We talk about subscription box stuff. Sometimes I have some exclusive spoilers or discounts for you, but it is also where we run our book club. So our book club right now is quarterly and we have been selecting from the options from authentic books because last year we did a subscription box awards sort of poll and authentic books was named the best book subscription that I opened here on the channel so we decided it would be a really good way of supporting a subscription box and sort of rewarding them for the great work that they did in past years but also uh, it's nice because there is an option every month like I said there are three options usually there's a romance usually like a thriller or a mystery and then one that's more of a contemporary fiction so as soon as those choices are made available to us usually around the 15th of the month prior then we go ahead and put a poll if it is one of our book selection months we put a poll into that Facebook group people vote and decide you can be a part of our Facebook uh, group uh, without being a subscriber of this box of course you can also participate in our book club without being a subscriber of the box sometimes people like to just go ahead and get a one-off box so that they can read and have the gift that go along with it. Some people will do audiobooks, some people will secure a copy from the library or another way and not have the box, but I do like to um open it up to as many people as possible and it does also kind of narrow things down for us a little bit. You don't have any sort of commitments but basically we'll do it over the reading over three to four weeks. This time we did three because it was a pretty fast-paced thriller that we selected and uh, Priscilla is great enough to put together some questions and we just do some discussions on a Facebook post in that group and it's been really really fun. We also do a live stream where Priscilla and I chat and you get to chat with us in the chat window and I really love that so far. So of course this is our third book. We have one more coming up so we'll be making that selection on September 15th for the October box and then hopefully we will be reading that October box uh, that book selection in November so we're all done by the time things get really crazy in the holiday season. So if you would like to join us in the Nobot Nook or in the Book Nook, which is sort of the subset, our book club, I would love to see you there if you have any questions, if you're kind of confused because there's a lot of words and sort of like insider lingo here, just let me know in the comments below. So in case you're wondering, the book that we selected was a thriller. It was A Twisted Love Story by Samantha Downing and we got this nice hardcover. I do admit that I love that Authentic Books often gets new releases. So Sometimes we're even just waiting for the book to arrive for her to pack the boxes. She puts this cool wax seal on there and then there's other fun uh, perks in terms of besides getting a hardcover, we always get a nice bookmark that goes along with and I love the shiny tassel. It looks beautiful, right? So the quote on this one is, everything about their relationship was wrong. It was obsession, lust, addiction, whatever you want to call it, but not love because of course it is a twisted love story. We also got a signed book plate, which I think is really cool as well. And then we also get our guide to go along with. Now there are three different subscription tiers with authentic books. There's also the option for add-ons. They've kind of changed the way you select your book. So um, just be aware that sometimes with um, when you add like an extra book or if you add some of the individual items, it doesn't necessarily mean if you upgrade to one of the higher tiers, that doesn't necessarily mean you get all of the items that you would normally get if you just purchased that box by itself. So if you have any questions about that, I'll try to explain here. So in the smallest box, which is the mini box, it is $42 plus I believe the shipping is now $9.99. You're gonna of course get your choice of book and again you get to choose from three options. A, the bookmark, you get the booklet here which is our guide from Natisha, the founder of Authentic Books, a candle as well as a play 
playlist. So she's always trying to speak to all of the senses. So of course, the book is for our eyes. The candle is going to be for the sense of smell. And the playlist is for the sense of hearing. And finally, you get a touch item. So there's like usually a self-care or more of a lifestyle box item. I just think that's really, really cool. They also have a give back element, by the way. So 5% of your membership will be donated to the Adopt a Classroom Foundation. So we love that as well. But I like the idea of it truly being an experience. So the next level up from the mini experience is the full experience where you get all of the above, but we get to add the sense of taste. So if you're wondering like why we don't get a sense of taste in the smaller, um, in the mini box, we do in terms of the fact that in the booklet there is always a story uh, eats recipe as well as a cocktail. So you don't necessarily need something from the box to create the recipe. So that is your sense of taste in the mini boxes. Then in the full boxes you get everything that you get in the mini box, but they also add another sense of taste in the form of a premium tea, a coffee, or a cocktail mixer. So often I get the cocktail mixer because then it makes it a little bit easier to make whatever the drink recipe is. And then of course you also get an extra touch item. So you wind up with two extra items in that next level up, which is $52 plus shipping. Then finally the highest valued box or the highest priced box is another $10 more. So $62, that is the premium experience. You get everything that you got in the full box. So you're getting you know, your candle, you're getting your bookmark, you're getting your book, you're getting your playlist, you're getting your uh, coffee, cocktail mixer, or tea. We add another taste item in the form of a premium chocolate, which is why I think that's the best one. And then finally, a third touch item. So you wind up with quite a few items. So I will show you what it looks like in the booklet. It has kind of a key for each of the items. So it tells you if it's a taste, touch, or smell item, for example. And then it also tells you what boxes it's included in. For example, this taste number two says it is just included in the premium box. Sometimes there are page numbers that explain what the item was inspired by and sometimes not. So lately there have not been inspired by certain pages. So I, or at least they haven't noted the pages. So I try to listen for it or look for it as I'm reading. Sometimes I'm smart enough to actually be able to mark the page with a little sticky note, but sometimes I don't have those on hand, so I don't, but I did get a couple of them this time around. I don't like to read a lot of passages um, from these particular books from thrillers because I don't like to have too many spoilers for those of you, of course, who are going to read the book eventually. So. By the way, we should have already, we should have the live stream posting uh, in just a couple of hours. I try to do my unboxings on the same day as the live stream and usually that's around 5 or 6 p.m. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe to my channel and then you can join us for the live stream where we discuss the book a little bit more. You don't have to have read the book by any means, but sometimes there's a fun giveaway or sometimes there's a secret password in there. So it's great to have you in there and it may, I'm not sure, it may be our only live stream for the month. So let's take a look at the book. Like I said, it was a pretty hefty book. I thought it was pretty good in terms of a thriller. These days, thrillers have to have a lot of twists and turns for me not to figure it out super early on. And it is really fun having our book club and having with the questions that Priscilla posts for us, seeing who's on the right track and then retrospectively being able to look back and be like, ah, you had figured it out way ahead. Or I already realized from week one to week two, I was like, oh, I was totally off about this person. But it's also just kind of fun to see which characters people vibe with, which characters people are suspicious about. Um, I really am enjoying our book club. So I love that it's quarterly. I feel like that's really manageable. Of course, you don't have to do it every quarter, but hopefully uh, we can uh, convince Priscilla to continue to be our fearless leader in the in the coming year. All right. So Wes and Ivy are madly in love. They've never felt anything like it. It's the type of romance people write stories about. But what kind of story? When it's good, it's great. Flowers, grand gestures, deep, meaningful conversations where the whole world disappears. When it's bad, it's really bad. Vengeful fights, damaged property, arrest warrants. But their vicious cycle of catastrophic breakups and head over heel reconciliations needs to end fast because suddenly Wes and Ivy have a common enemy and she's a detective. There's something Wes and Ivy never talk about in good times or bad the night of their worst breakup, when one of them th took things too far and someone ended up dead. Mm -hmm. 
If they can stick together, they can survive anything, even the tightening net of a police investigation, because one more breakup just might be their last. Dun, dun. So yes, of course, we already have sort of a murder mystery built in and we have to figure out in this uh, thriller who the twisted love story is really about. Is it really Wes and Ivy? Are there some other twisted relationships in there? And one of the common things that a lot of uh, thrillers do, I feel like right now, is they introduce a huge cast of characters. And it's usually there's a few red herrings. And then it's usually like, oh, it's this little character that we didn't hear much about. And that's how it all sort of unravels. But I, I thought it was I thought it was pretty good. It was only like at the very end that I was like, ah, uh, see, I was right about this one. I was off about this one. There were definitely some um, surprising twists, though. I was like, um, it's, I will, here's a spoiler, so pause or skip ahead 10 seconds if you want to. There is more than one death in this book. There's a couple surprising ones, I will say that. All right, so let's take a look at the items that we got. So this was an exclusive author collaborated um, item, which is, of course, our hand poured soy candle. So I think that's always really cool. So it's called Bonnie and Clyde, and it has a burn time of 25 hours. I will say they have really gotten their candles on point. They do burn for about a full day, uh, 25 hours. So Bonnie and Clyde, which kind of gives you an idea of Wes and Ivy, is a sense of fresh, pure, uh, and ginger spice. I'm not sure what fresh, pure is. So it uh, says the scent pure mixed with a little spice. Our candles are always hand stirred and poured in the authentic book studio using non-toxic ingredients. And again, this is going to be in all of the boxes, the mini, the full, and the premium. Ooh, ooh, that's a perfect fall scent, even though this was technically the July box because it does have that spiciness in it and it does work with the idea of sort of a twisted, twisted love. But I don't know what the scent pure is by itself, but I love that they create these labels and they create these candles and sometimes work with the author to do so. All right, so taste number one. So this is only going to be in the full and premium boxes. Again, the mini boxes, their taste is basically the recipe. And if you didn't see, you guys, the recipe this time around was for prime rib because Ivy is a meat eater and he is not. Um, so he, at one point he makes her a special dinner and deigns to, to cook some meat. And the drink is a gin and tonic, which I am not a gin girl. I feel like everybody has their liquor that they just didn't have the greatest experience with, maybe, um, and they just don't do it. For me, gin is just a little bit too floral, so I'm curious about this one because I got the cocktail mix. Otherwise, you would have gotten coffee or tea. Um, so this is Ish. It's uh, from Copenhagen. Oh, that's cool. The Mindful Drinking Company, a non-alcoholic pre-mixed cocktail, and it is a G&T. It says non-alcoholic cocktail with Ish London Botanical Spirit and Tonic at only three characters in length. Perhaps it's missing one letter. You. How cute. How cheeky. So it's a canned cocktail, but without al alcohol. So it's from, again, the Zero Proof. So I wonder if it has that flavor of gin. Of course, if you wanted to, you could definitely add gin to it, but you don't have to. So the cocktail recipe does say adding gin of your choice can make it alcoholic, but enjoy it over uh, fresh rosemary or simply straight from the can. So maybe I will like it because it doesn't actually have gin in it. So I'm kind of okay with that. I didn't remember seeing a gin and tonic in the book, but you guys, if you read it, remind me of where that happened. But maybe she just, maybe Ivy just had a drink one night. I, I don't recall. All right. So that was going to be in full and premium. The taste number two, which is only in the premium boxes. I was very excited about this. I also didn't see the inspiration for this in the book. This is from Seattle Chocolate, which is one of my favorite American chocolate companies that we've gotten as subscription boxes. And these little truffles are so good. I'm always so excited to go through the Seattle airport because you can like mix your own bag and they let you try one or two. So, so good. So this small gift box is beautifully trimmed with script and bright florals featuring three dark chocolate flavors champagne which is nice because it has that little like sparkly bit to it uh, dark sea salt toffee and salted almond like I would be okay with getting Seattle chocolate in every box in all honesty although we get some other really beautiful boxes and delicious chocolates but I'm super 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 excited about this all right, then that leaves us with the three touch items. Again, if you uh, have the premium box, you get all three. If you have the full box, you get the first two. And if you have the mini box, you get just the one. 
So touch number one was skin makeup remover wipes, which is actually a pretty substantial gift for touch number one from Pineapple Beauty. 30 pre-wet wipes help remove oil, dirt, and waterproof makeup while keeping skin hydrated, perfect for all skin types. And so it's a hemp, which I was like, I wonder what this is from. Now I will say there was a very early on, so I didn't choose any passages that were super spoilery, but early on, uh, Ivy is kind of relaxing and it says, and her parents are actually in jail, I believe, for um, growing weed. <laughs> uh, so it says, the weather is beautiful, a spring night that isn't too warm, and she sits on her pat patio smoking a joint. She doesn't indulge often, mostly because she grew up surrounded by it. Ivy is from Humboldt County, ground zero for pot farmers in California, including her parents. They had a small plot of land where they grew and sold marijuana since before Ivy was born. Now they're in prison. Turns out that even when marijuana became legal in the state, that didn't mean everyone could grow it and sell it. So there's like that little aside and I feel like that was the hemp connection. So that was super early on. And that was kind of when my like eyes were really alert to anything that was in the box. All right, so touch number two is Pure Body, which again, I don't know what that pure scent is, but it looks like this is an authentic books original because it looks like one of their candle labels. It is. Harnessing the powers of the deep sea, this purifying mask soothes, hydrates, and promotes even skin. So again, this is touch number two so it is in the full and premium boxes let me give it a sniff oh so it's not super thick in terms of a body butter and it doesn't have a super strong scent it's kind of light and fresh which I'm into so it says green tea and white pear so if that is the scent pure I'm into it because I really really like both tea scents and white pear like a nice fruity scent is really great as well so cool and then finally, touch number three, and this is an example where it's not really like a self-care item. It's more of like a little extra, I guess you could call this lifestyle item. So it came in a little authentic books bag and it is a matryoshka keychain. So matryoshka, of course, are those Russian nesting dolls um, and they do play a part in the story. So here we go. We have a little uh, keychain and now I never know what to do with keychains, but I do kind of like this like mesh uh, connection here that's sort of different and a little matryoshka is very very cute so she doesn't actually open up so she would be like the smallest one inside um, and also she would be the one that one of the characters in the book would have removed because she actually uses her nesting doll set sort of as a treasure box I guess so this is from golden cockerel it says matryoshka keychain this nesting doll key ring is a classic a nesting doll key ring lets the world know you are a matryoshka lover so I saw so much many interesting matryoshka a lot of them playing on like um political characters for example uh political figures i guess would be a better word for it uh like and you could get them hand painted and really elaborate and gorgeous and you could get them you know with 20 pieces you could get them with like three pieces i think i didn't buy any i have one from my grandparents maybe but this is a very classic little uh, like babushka I guess um, but again she does not actually open I did find it interesting I'm going to read you a passage from the beginning because this matryoshka in the book does make a few appearances but I did find it interesting that at one point the same character who has one um, Bianca she says something about how she's like slowly collected them all and eventually she'll collect like the last one and I feel like that's not how they work like you don't collect different looking ones um, from different sets like you have a set and like they might might look different as you open them up but it would be weird I feel like to slowly collect them it's not like a snow globe where you collect them from different places in different sets because they wouldn't necessarily actually nest properly so I thought that was kind of interesting but I guess you could because a lot of sets are the same but it, it just seemed like a weird thing to say but I don't remember what page that was on but let me just see where the matryoshka was first introduced so Bianca is a secretary essentially in uh, she's a fancy secretary, personal assistant in um, Wes's office. So Bianca doesn't know a lot about police work other than what she's seen on TV, but it seems unlikely that Detective Karen Cole Glazier would be working on a neighborhood break-in. Sex crimes focuses on things like harassment, stalking, assault, and rape. She opens her desk drawer and takes out her Russian nesting dolls. She opens each one, seven in total, and works her way down to the second smallest. So the second smallest. So this, is, this would be the smallest. The eighth one is long gone, replaced with a key. So instead of this one, 
Maybe she turned into a keychain. It's replaced with a key. It isn't something she should have. Assistants aren't allowed to have a master key to all the offices. So, hmm, why does Bianca have a master key to all the offices? There was a lot of questioning of Bianca's intentions and uh, just her general demeanor in our Facebook group, in our book club. Uh, and in the end, I mean, Bianca gets a rough rap, I think. I personally think, but... You let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you thought about this box. I actually am really happy about the items because I think the the gin and tonic will be fun because it doesn't have gin. I love these kinds of chocolates. I love a body butter. I think it's kind of cool that Authentic Books is starting to make their own self-care products. Um, it was nice that we got a pretty substantial uh, touch item number one, and I thought it was kind of cute to have something that wasn't necessarily self-care for touch item number three. But you guys let me know what you thought in the comments below. I would love to see some of you guys in the live stream. It should be around five or six. You'll see it over on my channel, over on the um, community tab, if not sooner. And I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.